Wait! I'm so silly. Ow. How could I forget about my kombucha first thing in the morning? We'll have the cereal after. Good morning, guys. Um, from my new house. Hopefully you guys watch the other video already where I give you guys a full tour of the house, both downstairs, upstairs, all the rooms. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'm like, well, am I really here? And then like, I'll think that I'm still at the old place. I don't know, it's, it's definitely a change. Buying a house is a lot more than I thought it was gonna be, like so much more. Thankfully, I had so many people help me. I mean, I didn't really mention it in my other video, I just showed them, but like Andrew helped me, Lydia's husband, Bizme was able to help me. I didn't film it, but Giselle helped me so much. My friend Giselle um, from the other apartment, she, was a, she helped me kind of put everything in boxes, like about 75% of my house. We like, she came over, I had some wine, had some food. Uh, we had to go to Home Depot and buy extra boxes and tape because I ran out. I Like you have a lot more than you think. And I like to consider myself a non-cluttered person and I still had a lot of clutter. Everybody that helped me, seriously, thank you guys oh so much. I don't, I would have not been able to do this. And then I didn't show it in the video, but I actually had movers. You know, th these are heavy things. Like I can't move them by myself. I just didn't film that part just because it, it was too much going on at once, but it's okay. Everything is here now. Moving out of Jade was definitely hard. Jade, and I, I call it Jade because that's what it was called, Jade Apartments. I, I cried. I literally cried leaving that apartment because again, it was like so special to me that it was like my first place out by myself and I felt like a, finally an adult. Okay, but let's finish this uh, and let's actually get some cereal into my stomach. Okay, not gonna lie, um, I got kind of full from the uh, the kombucha right there, so I didn't want to wait on the cereal, but I think it was actually super funny and I, I wish I would have mentioned it a little differently about Richard's room. So I should have said something like, oh, you know, Richard my rooster, comment below who, whatever. But yeah, brought Richard along with me and uh, he has his own room now. Oh, good Richard. We're in my office now. I will say I feel like I am a little bit behind on work just because since I, I had all my energy kind of stored into moving and a whole bunch of other stuff, I feel like I'm not behind, but I'm not as ahead as I would like to be, you know? Okay, let's get some work done first though. finished work kind of <laughs> and um, I kind of thought about what is it that you guys would want to know about the house about me moving I don't know so I just put a thing out on Instagram see what you guys are curious about we'll uh, answer a few questions how long did it take you from starting to look to finalizing your choice I've actually been looking since June of 2023 I had Zillow I had realtor on my phone and just <laughs> kept on looking literally every day so yeah, it took quite a while. <laughs> when is a house party? <laughs> so I do want to throw a house party. I just, I'm not used to hosting, which I do. I would love to be able to host more. Now that I have like a, a bigger spot, you know, and people can not come in and like neighbors aren't really going to complain or anything. So when? Uh, soon. We will be doing a few housewarming parties. What are the interest rates? Okay, so it was... A little different for me because when I first applied I qualified for 7.125 something like that which that's a lot however though interest rates have been going down mine has been going down as I've been going as I went through the process so it started at 7.125 then um, I was able to get it down to a 6.125 because we checked again and then one other time I was like okay let's check one last time, just in case, and it was a six, no, 5.875, which from 7.125 to 5.875, that's a pretty big difference. Um, I do plan on refinancing the house. I don't know if maybe later this year, even next year, just whenever they go way down, definitely refinancing. So if you 
if you guys ever are looking for a house or whatever, um, just keep asking your lender to keep checking because you never know, they, they could go down. Do I have an HOA? Yes, I do have an HOA. I don't know the exact amount right now, but I think it was somewhere between 120 to 140 ish something like that i feel like that's a pretty normal hoa rate here in las vegas i mean for really high-end communities i've heard of like 300 plus maybe even more let's move somewhere else okay so now we are in my extra room guest bedroom to be do you think this will be your forever home i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm i don't really plan out too much into the future like yes this is you know a, a probably i'll probably be here for a good bit shoot for all i know maybe i'll get sick of the vegas heat and want something more normal i i don't know i truly don't know but i i do know i like it i do know i like it <laughs> do you like having the kitchen on the second floor um it has its pros and cons i would say because yes like we everyone were, were like so used to you know having it the other way around the pro is is that because it's on the second floor i feel like i have a lot more light that's what i do like about it i don't mind it i feel like you're going up and down the stairs almost as much as you were to have like a regular home it's okay i don't mind it obviously like the one thing that i wish was a little different was my bathroom my, my main bathroom would be bigger but I'm okay sacrificing that in order to have like that beautiful kitchen and living room area. Like that I could just sit in and just stare at it all day. Will we be seeing more cooking tutorials in Norma's kitchen? That's the plan. I do hope so. I mean, my, my kitchen has been stocked with so much food already. With the new house has the thought of a pet crept up. <laughs> I mean, Richard's kind of enough. Not right now, honestly, especially right now that I just moved in. No, I don't think so. And I do kind of want to like just have enough time for myself to, besides get the house ready, just work and travel. But no, not anytime soon. Even though I have seen hella cute pictures of little animals out there. What were you looking for in a house? Definitely three bedrooms, definitely a two car garage, a really nice kitchen, of course, and living room, a lot of light. I definitely want a something with a lot of light just because at Jade, my apartments, it was lit up, but it was because my apartment pointed south. So I did have constant sun exposure, but I felt like I just needed a lot more windows in order to make it brighter. So this having a lot of windows, that definitely helped. So I think that was something that was very important in my eyes at least. What colors do you plan on painting the room? I don't think I will be actually. I kind of just like the colors as is. I don't know, again, I'm, I'm kind of a minimalistic I would think and I'm not good at decorating I'm really not <laughs> so when I walk into a room I don't see like oh my god that could be red that could be black and this like I don't see that you know so I do depend a lot on Pinterest but no I mean I think I'm gonna keep the colors as is all right let's go to another spot how does it feel to be a homeowner compared to a renter oh so stressful it really does just because there's a lot more bills than i thought there would be and maybe because i just moved in and i just have to buy everything like right now pretty much that's why i'm trying to work i'm trying to do as much as i can no but i like it it's again i do feel very grown up now even though i've been a grown up for quite a while now i keep seeing these questions about how much was it which i will say it in, in a little bit I do see a lot of people say congratulations, so thank you so much, guys. Uh, questions about a backyard. I do not have a backyard. Did I hire a home inspector? I sure did. I think it was called like Red Rock Home Inspection, something like that. And I think they charged me like 350 or 375 for the home inspection, which I mean, I think that's a pretty average price. So, and they were pretty good. So yeah, I did hire one. Our housing price is going up. I mean, I think that's a yes. Yeah, I mean, definitely they've gone up ever since you know, 2020, they've definitely gone up. My agent, oh, well, so I had a friend, his name is Kevin, I'll put his information right here. He was actually a concierge, that's how I met him at first, and then eventually he became a realtor, and such a super nice dude, really patient, so that's who I use, and yeah, he was definitely very helpful throughout the whole time. Finally, the big question, ah. How much was the house, and what are your payments? Okay, so. This house cost $405,000. Oh, I know. I don't know. I question myself sometimes about that. 
And then my payment, uh, because it was, I guess, went down to the 5.875. I don't know the exact amount, but I'm somewhere in between like, I think 2550 to 2600 a month, which is more than I paid at my apartment. My apartment was about 1990 something, almost $2,000. So yes, about $500 more. Um, I know I'm gonna have a lot more in bills when it comes to like electricity, trash, water, sewer. I don't know if <laughs> that's the same thing or not. I am gonna have more. So I do gotta buckle down and get to grinding and, but I definitely want to get my finances more in order. So that way, um, I don't know, I could just handle it all, you know? I, again, I hope you guys really like it. It's really nice. I still gotta do a lot to it. We do have a lot of events to go to. Now we're gonna go from house to events. Hope you guys like it. So I'm here at the Cosmopolitan uh, because we're about to go into an event at Super Frico. They're starting something called Super Vino. All I know is Vino means wine and that means I'm going. <laughs> Super freaking loud, but it's okay. So yeah, so this is again Super Vino here at Super Frico inside the Cosmopolitan Hotel. It's kind of cool. So basically, Super Vino is a like an event that they do once a month. It's ninety-five dollars per person, and that gets you all you can eat and all you can drink for an hour and a half. And they have different wine people that come and they show off their wine. So in this case, it was Cake Bread Cellars, and they had like a Sauvignon Blanc, a Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, and then plus the champagne. And then Super Frugal puts out the food. So as we saw, we got their pizza, their amazing mozzarella, lots of charcuterie board. And then, so like the menu is supposed to change once a month. So far, it's really good. I like. $95 for all you can eat and drink for an hour and a half. Not horrible. Especially the cheese, that cheese and mozzarella. When I did the video, How to Turn 21, the price I think was $90 for that big piece of cheese. So you definitely get a lot more options here. I talked to the cake bread sellers guys and said the Chardonnay was really good, so I think I gotta try that one next. Earthy. Very earthy, yeah. good, strong taste. <laughs> you know, whoever stepped on this grapes had fungus for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So we're back at Fountain Blue. <laughs> wow, we just spent 24 hours here. What's another couple hours? It's okay, yeah. <laughs> but this is kind of special because we're here at Capone's, which is a burger spot over in the little food court area. Yep. And Lydia invited me. It's called BioLife with a V. BioLife. <laughs> and yes. it's plant based cheese. Yep. Dairy free, plant based. So I knew I had to invite Norma. Even though Capone's is burgers, I guess the pizza expo is in town, so we're going to try it. So I'm not gonna lie, Lydia got distracted by talking to people, as, yeah. sh as always. <laughs> she's, too, she's too popular. I got the pizza, but then I, I just got this burger over here. Did you like it? Yeah, it was very good. Okay. That was good. Yeah, it's good, right? So, I am gonna say the, about the cheese, mm -hmm. I like it better on the burger over a pizza. Yeah. Because with pizza, yeah. you kind of want it to be more that cool. Gooey, yeah. But this, it's, I would say it's kind of like a, like, like a cheese slice that you put in yeah, a burger. Yeah. It's better on a burger, for sure. Yeah, I would agree. But Mr. Capone's is here, and um, he's animated, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he, you can tell he loves this place, and he loves his food. Yeah, and look how I'm standing. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> what'd, you, what'd you think? And it's really good. Nice. Feed me. See, I, had, I gotta hold the camera, so Lydia has to feed me. This is gonna show you how much I love you, is that I'm giving you one of the pickle bites, because I know you like pickles. Okay, I'm not an onion person, but I'm trying to 
broaden my horizons. I love onion rings. I just wish I had ranch. That is a good onion ring. You can't even tell there's onion in it. We should ask for ranch though. <laughs> yeah. You're 100% right. Low key, I kind of want to go get a Miami slice while we're here. We'll see if it happens. I'll take one of each. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I got the original. I've been waiting all night for this. Ooh. We've been here 30 minutes. <laughs> That's bomb. Love it. So we just left. Lydia's uh, vlogging for me because I'm driving. I am. This is hurting my arm, so talk fast. <laughs> so that was really cool. Uh, burgers were super good. They were really um, good. We didn't really get to talk much to the camera, obviously, because it was like a really busy event. It was pretty chaotic because there were like 40 or 50 of us in a pretty small contained area. And we knew a lot of people. So, of course, I was like in my social butterfly phase. Uh, but yeah, so now we're gonna go see a show. A show that neither of us have seen. Ooh. And it was, it's kind of like a, like a invite event type of thing. So there might be food there. There might be drinks and I may or may not have some. <laughs> oh, I may have some for sure. We kind of like piled events on top of events. Yep. Because right now that it's like spring, it's just getting crazy busy. Yes, it is. We actually got four invites for events today. We were only able to pick two, so first world problems. Because <laughs> they were all like at the same time. Yep. Okay. But I'm excited for this one too. All I'll say is that we have to go to the Rio for this one. Did I say vodka soda with lemon? Maybe you did. Maybe I did. Dang it, it's my Mexican that gets to me. And lemon and lime is the same thing. I just say, okay. Okay, so yeah, we're out. Burro borracho? Yeah, this is my first time coming in here. And the Mexican food is flowing. In this event right here, we're, yeah, we're gonna have some food here, drinks here at Burro Borracho. Now we're gonna go to Penn & Teller. And it's so cool because there's so many of my concierge friends here and from like the industry, so. And Lydia's met actually quite a few of them already. Yeah, um, I think the last event I went to with you was when we went and saw Awakening at the Wind, yes. which was awesome. Cheerios. Cheers. International headliners and the longest running headliners in Las Vegas. Woo! We are happy to have them here for at least another three years at Rio Las Vegas, Penn and Teller. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming by. Thanks for uh, Vegas Vibe magazine. And uh, there was a slight mistake there. We're not the longest running headliners in Vegas. We're the longest running headliners in the history of Las Vegas. So, take that, Frank Sinatra. Take that. I'm not crying, you're crying. That was cool. I don't know. Stuff like that, like Vegas historical stuff, makes me like tear up. It's probably the drink too. I mean, everyone's tall to me. <laughs> hey, can you get a quick hello? Oh, there you go. <laughs> get real close. They gotta see our pores. I love them already, and I haven't even seen the show yet. <laughs> 